Hi, this tutorial is how to upgrade your iPhone 3G to firmware 3.1.3 while keeping your baseband of 05.11.07 intact so you can still unlock it. Now, a lot of people have had a problem with Snow Breeze getting error 1600 or 1604, and I pretty much created this tutorial how to fix that. Now, I know we're very close to iOS 4, but it's not a public release yet, and there's not an unlock available. What this tutorial will do is in the meantime it'll at least allow you to keep your phone unlocked while still having the latest firmware. A lot of people have kind of been forced through iTunes to upgrade their firmware because their phones either crashed, they're stuck in a boot loop, or whatnot. And this will kind of fix that and enable you to keep your phone unlocked. Now, the first thing you need to do, there's five different websites and I provided the link in the uh, video description. And the first website is IHateSnow.com. Uh, there's four different uh, types of software you need to download, AutoSHSH, Forecast, iReb, and Snowbreeze. Now the Forecast and AutoSHSH are optional, but iReb and Snowbreeze are mandatory. The Forecast essentially tells you if your phone is unlockable, if it's jailbreakable, and whatnot. iReb is a tool to fix the 1600 error, and once again this is primarily for 3G. I haven't tried it on 3GS, so if anyone out there tries it on 3GS and this works, let me know. Uh, the iRev is for iPhone 2G, 3G, and iPod Touch 1G, iPod Touch 2G. And the Snow Breeze is the software you're going to use to create a custom uh, firmware for version 3.1.3. Now, the first thing you need to do, which is pretty much the culprit of why iRev doesn't work, a lot of people think that it's only for version 3.1.2, but that's actually not true. Um, I found a fix for it, and that's actually by removing iTunes. I actually just did a Google search and found that Apple has a tutorial on how to remove iTunes completely. And I provided the link there. Make sure you click on each one of these. It gives you a tutorial on how to remove that specific software. And you have to remove all of the Apple software. Very, very important. One of the things they don't mention is after you remove the software and install the uh, downgraded version of iTunes, you're going to need to change one file. And I've already included it here. You're going to need to go to My Music, click on iTunes and you're going to see a file called ituneslibrary.itl. I've already gone ahead and changed mine to ituneslibrary.itl.old. That's very, very important. Eventually, the downgraded version can create its own ITL file, but in the meantime, you have to change that, otherwise the downgraded version of iTunes will not work. Gone ahead and removed all of the iTunes software. You're going to want to go to this website and download your IPSW for your phone, whether it be iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS. 3.1.3 there for 3D and 3D 3.1.3 for the 3GS. After you download that, you're going to download the uh, downgraded version of iTunes. I've used this website. 9.0.2 is what the uh, release is on this website. It's actually .2.25, which is fine. It works just fine, no problems. You can use this website or use your own. I've already tested this and ran it through uh, Norton and had no problems. And then the next thing you need to do is uh, after you've installed the iTunes and downloaded your IPSW. Uh, you can use this tutorial from I Hate Snow. It's how to get your phone into DFU mode. Now, once your phone's in DFU mode, you're gonna want to open up, let's see here, you're gonna wanna open up Snow Breeze. This is Snow Breeze, click OK. And once again, it's for 3.1.3. Click Simple Mode, I recommend Simple Mode. For most people, Expert Mode, you could possibly mess up the process and it takes a lot longer. Click Browse. And look for the folder where you uh, stored your IPSW. I have one for each uh, I device, iPhone, uh, 2G, 3G, and 3GS. But go ahead and select this one. This is for the 3G, the iPhone 1, 2, and click Open. You can uh, click Next, and it's going to process, and that quick. It's already done. It's already uh, created for you. Click Next, and eventually it's going to save it onto your desktop. Now, once you've created your custom firmware, you're going to want to open iReb and here's iReb. Now once again your phone has to be in DFU mode and you have to already have created your custom firmware and click on iPhone 3G. Now for some people this is actually um, stopped halfway through. You know it's worked is if the software has crashed and your phone has either a white or red screen on it. Now if it doesn't go all the way through and it just stops what you can do is unplug your phone, restart it uh, by holding the home button and the power button and then put it back into DFU mode again. Um, once you plug it back in. And once you put it in the DFU mode for the second time, it'll continue and eventually your screen will turn white. Now once your screen's white, then you can open iTunes. And once you open iTunes, let's see here, you're not gonna see this screen here, it's gonna be grayed out. You're gonna wanna hold shift, very important, hold shift, hit restore, and it should save your custom firmware to the desktop. At that point, 
you just simply hit uh, click on that click open and it's going to go ahead and process uh, your custom firmware and upgrade your phone to 3.1.3 while keeping your baseband once again if you have any problems with any of these softwares there are tutorials on how to use each one individually and there's also tutorials on how to um, unlock your phone using black snow the, that's pretty much the easy part the hard part is really getting iTunes out putting the downgraded version in and using iReb so once again that's the fix on how to use iReb and how to upgrade uh, your firmware using uh, Snowbreeze. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or make a comment. And if you could subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Once again, any questions, send me a message. And uh, thanks for your time.